Welcome to Draw Detectives, where we solve dumb mysteries with even dumber drawings. That's right, we got a brand new show where I've uh, written and drawn out a whole big old mystery. But in order to investigate this mystery, I'm going to need some help from my friends, Nathan Yaffe. Hi. Jacob Andrews. I'm always here. And uh, I prefer to call you just by first name, Karina. Yeah. You know, it feels more yeah. powerful. Like Cher. Like Cher. <laughs> like Cher. It's just Karina. You're the Cher just of the Karina. group. Hello. It feels odd to refer to you by full name for some reason. Please don't. So yeah, so I, I've- And who are you? Uh, oh, uh-huh. well, I am going to uh, be playing both narrator, literally everyone else, but mostly my character's name is P.I. Jancy True. Jancy True. <laughs> Jancy? Jancy True. That's good. Wow. That's like Nancy, but more exciting. It is. <laughs> so yeah, so I, I'm going to be playing uh, private investigator Jancy True. Nice. Basically how we're going to start this off is you three are the fresh apprentices, handpicked by P.I. Jancy True, <laughs> to investigate this high profile case. And uh, this is your first mystery at the agency. So welcome. She's made a mistake. She should not have brought us on this case. I'll tell you immediately. Jancy, are you sure about this? <laughs> Listen, the, the pool in which to pick some new employees was very poor. So congratulations, you've made the cut. I think um, we're going to do a great job. I think it's <laughs> it's going to be something. Let me tell you that. So yeah, so I'll explain how the rest of the show goes in episode two and all that, but we can't we can't start a show if you guys don't have characters. So we're going to need some characters. Okay. A, a sleuthing team. Yeah. So my character, and let me introduce you to my character. My character Jancy. is P.I. Jancy True oh, back she's... here in the agency. Fancy, wow. Jancy. She's so fancy and so sad already. <laughs> she's, she's just so she knows so what, tired. She's just like, oh god, here we go. <laughs> oh god, I have three upstart children, whatever they are, to investigate this mystery. I've made a mistake already. Julia, but the you know, lighting whatever. effects in this room. Thank you. Thank mm. you. This was the, the first room I drew for the whole show. Wow. So it goes downhill from here. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, the, that's the enthusiasm I've come to love. All right, so let's get y'all designing some characters. Jacob, you want to go first? Me, yes. All right, I'm going to draw my character for this murder mystery thing. And, and Julia, you informed us. Yes. I informed um, you ahead of time. You informed us ahead of time that it's sort of a fantasy-esque world. Yes. It's so, like fantasy races, right? Yeah, so there's like elves and orcs and half-orcs and dragon people. Listen, yeah. I don't play D&D, you, so you it's li- all going to be real vague. <laughs> you linked us the, the D&D Beyond <laughs> Races page. And we, we found all of the animal races. Please don't. Don't do this you, to me. <laughs> You were you did not want those. You did yeah. not like those. You are um, not allowed to be elephants. No elephant or people turtles. or turtle people or horrible bird men. <laughs> wretched, <laughs> wretched bird men. Wretched, unthinkable bird men. <laughs> we're sticking with the classic Tolkien fantasy races. Totally. The character that I've decided to go with, I wanted to make a half orc. Nice. Um, because half orc basically just translates to hot orc. It's like <laughs> yep. with the hotness slider unlocked <laughs> so you can start cranking that up yeah so i wanted to do like a half orc barbarian type Ooh, very fun um, in in sort of the lore that i've been thinking about for this character he was you know born to like a an orc father human mother sort of situation oh so he's a first generation half orc yes and um but he lived for most of his life in sort of the the orc tribes mm-hmm. like on the outskirts of civilization and he lived with his father and kind of grew up there and now he has decided he wants to try to spend some time on his mother's side of the family uh-huh oh. and sort of come into society and uh and and give that a try as well to experience both parts of his his heritage mm-hmm. i like that so that's uh that's sort of where we find him here at the at the beginning. Strong jaw already? Yeah, he got a strong jaw. <laughs> you know it. He's gotta. He simply must. So he comes from a barbarian sort of tribe and he's uh, trying to sort of distance himself a little bit from all the smashing and crushing and crashing that mm. he's that he does uh, usually. So he's got like, uh, you know, sort of the orc barbarian like battle rage <laughs> issues. Yeah. <laughs> like it's very easy for him to fly into a fury. Things piss him off. Things piss him off. Um, but he's really trying to sort of get a handle on it so that he can fit in 
In Fancy Town. In Fancy Town, which is, I guess, the name of the town. <laughs> That's what it's called, right? Yeah, this is definitely a uh, Fancy Town. Murder in Fancy Town. Murder in Fancy Town. <laughs> Did you say your character's name? Uh, I have not yet. Okay. He does have a name. Is it a, is it a, what's it? What's it? Oh, you you want to know it right now? <laughs> or is it a re reveal? It's not really a reveal. I can tell you right now. <laughs> why, why don't you tell me right now? Being so mysterious. Um, his name is... Uh, his full name is Georic Rogdul. Georic okay. Rogdul. That's his his orc name. But to make things sort of easier for people in Fancy Town, he just goes by York. York. Oh, that's fun. That's good. So uh, you can call him York. That's good because my character also has a G name, and it would be <laughs> it would be confusing. Yeah, I would never, Nathan, <laughs> use the same name as one of your characters. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I wasn't sure how fleshed out the characters needed to be, so I asked this morning. I said, yeah. <laughs> I said, Julia, do we need to know the names of our characters? And you said yes. So I came up with a name for my character. Oh, nice. And it starts with a G. I believe what I told you was, however you want to fly, my dude. <laughs> that I'm, is, Those were the exact words. Those were the exact <laughs> words that I used. Uh, I took that as a yes. <laughs> I took that as sort of a, a passive... However you want to fly, my dude. You know, you as want to come in unprepared. Not bird man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't fly that way. Yeah, don't don't <laughs> actually illegal. fly. Your character can't fly. <laughs> yeah, please don't be a bird. I don't want to draw birds a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this riot boy. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah, he's a former riot boy. You can see he's tied his hair back to attempt to to be presentable, but he still has a classic case of uh, anger face. He's got no. He's got <laughs> nose hacked. He's he got nose hacked absolutely, and, um, <laughs> and he's got a case of the anger face, which does make a lot of people, you know, a little bit nervous. Yeah, resting anger face um, around him. A real problem in the orc community. Yeah, a lot of orcs <laughs> suffer from resting <laughs> anger face. Um, he's definitely put on like a coat. <laughs> he hasn't seen many detectives. Oh, is he doing the coat no shirt? He's got a shirt, but it's uh, a bit no. like of a low cut muscle shirt oh, tight. Uh, oh. situation. <laughs> so tight. you you know, he still he shows off a lot of his his moosles. This is like a dude who only just remembered that he has to go for an interview. <laughs> He's like, God, I don't have interview clothes. Dad, Dad, you have a coat? You have a coat I can wear? <laughs> I'll put it on top of my gym clothes. Don't worry about it. His dad owns no coats. His dad is a yeah. full orc. <laughs> yeah, <for> sure. <laughs> Tribes <Mom>? leader. <laughs> Do you have any friends I can borrow a coat from? Uh, he doesn't like fully know how coats are supposed to work. So he does right. just sort of have it like sashed around. So he hasn't like, been of out of the org community <laughs> for very long. No, he's he's sort of new, but he maybe he shows like a, an aptitude for detecting. <laughs> 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 Even if most of his detecting is done by force. Yeah. Forceful detecting. He's learning. He's He's getting, you know, gist of it. Um, so I'm gonna have to shrink him a little bit so I can fit him on here. Give him a shrink and a little bit of a spin. Give him a shrink and spin. This is Give gonna be fun because our characters are all different sizes. So yeah. your, yours is definitely the tallest, I think. Uh, yeah, he's gonna be about seven feet tall. Nice. Nice. So he's nice. a pretty, nice. a pretty tall guy. He can, he can dunk. He can, he can and will dunk if given the chance. Oh, I was gonna say he can reach high shelves. <laughs> Julia, how many opportunities in this murder mystery are we gonna have to dunk? Um, you know what? Whatever you want. If you just feel like doing a dunk, confuse some of the characters. Don't go say for whatever it. we want. <laughs> That's the sort of rule that will lead to you having bird people. Yeah, uh, the bird people are the best at dunking. Here's the thing, I. <laughs> I have already drawn out the room, so you guys can only mess me up so much. We'll With just say Duncan. We'll just say there, there's the, a lot of ways you can dunk. The hoops, the hoops, just a little bit higher up, out of frame. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're behind you. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to do research on drawing characters and dunking poses. Huh? <laughs> Jump and well, Duncan. Well, you're editing this, so you, you can just edit this whole dunking conversation out. No. <laughs> and then we'll never have to. Because <laughs> there's no way I'm going to remember. <laughs> yeah, just censor us. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let us just be who we're going to be. Is he wearing a sleeveless jacket? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I thought about making it ripped, but then it's like he's trying. He got it No, he, he's, he cinched it. <laughs> he got it <tailored. laughs> I would like the, the sleeves taken off. You mean uh, take off, taken sir? in? Yes. Off. Sleeve, <laughs> sleeves off. Sleeves off, please. We don't. Oh, okay. Just, just right off. Thank just, you. Just, 
<laughs> just want <laughs> just want them off. I just want them off. Uh, yeah, because he, he always likes to have his sort of like battle arms. Just out. battle arms. <laughs> you know, he's got like scars and things on him. Not, not his regular arms. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants them to be seen uh-oh. so that, you know, people I mean, at he all He does times... have rippling muscles, so. Yeah, uh-oh. absolutely. Uh-oh. uh-oh, Jacob, I I didn't get my tickets. I didn't get my tickets. Oh, your tickets to the gun show. To the gun show. show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you should have considered that uh, going in here. <laughs> Yeah, this one's got like one of these like sort of bands on it. Sure. Is that <laughs> is that a band made one from the... from some of the yeah, well, the leftover fabric from the sl- bands, from like, the sleeve? He just thought it looked cute. He was like, "Wait, yeah, is there don't throw out all of that sleeve fabric. Give me one band. <laughs> Give me one band." He says it's like, you know, part of like his custom. Like this is a it's a mark of like a warrior to have uh-huh. one of these, but it's not. <laughs> He did. He did just think it looked cute. I'm just picturing this dude staring down Jancy True, and the two of them are just kind of <laughs> half lid looking at each other. One because of they're just tired. The other one because they've got resting anger face, and they just just nod yeah. at each other. Jancy probably thinks that York has a problem. Yeah. With her or a bad attitude, <laughs> but he doesn't. He's just focusing really hard to try and understand what's going on. <laughs> He's like waiting for her to get into the details of the mystery. He's really eager to start. And also really eager to like learn. Yeah. To learn things, but he doesn't look that way. <laughs> yeah. And that's sort of all. a that's sort of a problem that he faces. I should also mention that so all of your characters are going to have an ability that you can use once in the show and a, one, um, a once, once per, per show. A once per campaign ability. Yeah. Because if I let you do it more than that, that'll make things complicated for me. Okay. My ability is to dunk. <laughs> so you can dunk once. I can dunk once. That's not my ability. I'm going to write that into my notes. No, I, wa- I no, want No, everyone should be able to dunk. <laughs> everyone dunks as much as they want. Julie already said it. No take backs. Yeah. All right. I'm going to put in can dunk whenever. <laughs> That's official. It's in the doc. Perfect. Look at this sweet boy. He's a very sweet look boy. Look at this hot. Look at this hot orc. <laughs> yeah, he's a hot orc, and he's he's really trying his best. He's got so much toed. He's kind of the Raphael of the bunch, you know. Of the te- uh, teenage. Uh, I, I don't know. Ninja Turtle Raphael. <laughs> yeah, who the fuck else would I be talking about? <laughs> uh, Soul Caliber, dude. <laughs> no, Nathan, I would never be talking about that. <laughs> Does he use a rapier? No. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he doesn't use a rapier. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like Raphael. Yeah, I know what Raphael uses. <laughs> um, I just got to get his legs in here. He has to have those. Yeah. Well, I guess he doesn't have to, but sure. he probably should. He probably should. I think it would help him. <laughs> to ambulate? Help him yeah. dunk. Help him, help, him, dunk. help him to dunk. I can't believe I actually wrote in my notes to dunk whenever. <laughs> it's in there. It's in the doc. That definitely does not need to be in your notes. <laughs> this, is, this is just a testament to how <laughs> thorough of notes Julia is taking. The, yeah. dunk, the dunks have been recorded. <laughs> our fearless scribe. Yeah. <laughs> our wonderful game master. Listen, this is, this is the first game that I am in control of, so I haven't learned how to be just utterly exhausted <laughs> by the player's <laughs> antics yet. I'm not jaded yet. That'll come. Yeah, it'll <laughs> happen. Probably episode two. Tap okay. into your inner Roxa. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it won't take long. Roxa guest DMs a session. It's just like, no, <laughs> we're eating sandwiches. Gonna adjust that arm a little bit, and then I'll write his name in here so that we have that. Please do, because I have um, no idea how to spell it. Are we, all, are we all sharing the canvas? Are we all going to draw our characters side by side? You've left a lot of space. Well, he's a, t- a tall guy. He doesn't have like. Well, no. I'm just asking. Should I? <laughs> should I? A lot of options. Should, yeah. I, should I draw my character next to yours or no? What do you think, Julia? Yeah, why not? Okay. Is that cool with everyone? Yeah, it can definitely fit. All right. Well, I'm gonna shrink him a little so I can write his name above him. Okay. And we'll okay. have to just. Ad- you guys can <laughs> Nathan's like. Nathan is gonna be so small. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm a dwarf. <laughs> yeah. You're I'm gonna, gonna make have a little. To draw him big and he, then shrink he's him. He's gonna down. be a little squat. Yeah. I'll start off. Bi- okay. He's gonna be in the foreground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Base your size off of my guy. Uh, he could stand okay, on a box. Is... <laughs> he loves to stand on boxes. Yorick, York, Rogduel. Rogduel. Nice. That's our boy. That's a good boy. Our angry detective. Um, who's up next? Nathan? It me. All right, hop on in. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Nathan. I'm going to do the thing Jacob did where I draw my character and then shrink him. 
Yeah. It's the only way to do it that I can figure. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep no, on shrinking. No one has ever drawn something to scale the first time. It's impossible. It, it's truly impossible. There's no way. So uh, I'm a dwarf druid. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think I fancy myself a bit of a, a pet detective. Okay. Like Ace Ventura? Um. Not like Ace Ventura. <laughs> Do you I, get mad when people bring that up? Y- well, <laughs> I get confused because I don't think Ace Ventura exists. Yeah, is that in this part world? of the lore? I think it's always <laughs> sort of existed <laughs> in some way. Um, it's a concept. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, he, he fancies himself a pet detective, but he's really more of a dog walker. That's sort of like his act, his actual source of income. Right. Like okay. He'll he'll try and you know be like you know I'm I'm a dog whisperer. I I learned I learned some some secrets of your dogs, and then the person will just be like, okay, but you but you walked him right. Like that's, the, <laughs> that's sort of the main thing I hired you for. And he's like, yeah 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 yeah. Because like I you know I'm a dwarf. I come from like a family of of blacksmiths. You know, pretty hoity toity blacksmiths, but I just wasn't about that oh, life. Like upper class you know, sort yeah. of blacksmiths to the w- rich and famous. Yeah, the, the High Forge clan. I don't know if you've heard of us. Uh, I mean, I, I haven't personally. I yeah. just got to town recently, so. I'm Grendon High Forge. Grendon. Grendon. <laughs> <laughs> I love a name that's just a, another name but with a different <laughs> letter. <laughs> I was looking up dwarf names on the internet and I saw Grendon and I was like, <laughs> my character's absolutely named Grendon. <laughs> How could it not be? This is Dog Walker Grendon. <laughs> you had to walk the dog. Yeah, what's, uh, does he have sort of a, a hoity-toity way of speaking or does he is he have a more down to earth? No, he's more like, he, he's, he's sort of like, I'm Grendon, you know? I'm, <laughs> my parents, you, you probably know my parents. I wasn't about that life. Uh, I don't I, know your parents. I, We've been yeah, over this. You probably heard of them. I've not heard of them. But you know, th- that's like that's not me. You Are know? they the skull crushers? I know the skull crushers. No, but they probably made weapons for the skull crushers. You know, they the like, skull crushers make weapons out of the skulls of their enemies. Oh, uh, they probably haven't made weapons for the skull crushers <laughs> then. Yeah, he's sort of. I love his stupid hippie glasses. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Looks like he's fucking doing a Matrix cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're designing. We're just sort of going. You know, oh, he's got a little fringe. Oh, <laughs> he's wearing a hat. He's wearing a little hat. You know, he's got to keep the sun off his face while he's out walking the dogs, <laughs> out whispering to the dogs. Yeah, Jancy's just like, did I? <laughs> did you? Did I think your resume may have fallen into my pile? Yeah, because um, I'm a pet detective. You, oh, I'm great at de- I'm great at solving pet mysteries, but like I'm looking to branch out into. Well, basically, I'm looking to branch out into anything besides just like walking them, but like <laughs> human-based mysteries are pretty good, too. I think. Listen, I haven't dealt much with uh, pets, but uh, I'm I'm sure something will come by. I'm not really sure. Why did you apply? This <laughs> we do we don't do pet mysteries. What? <laughs> That's not. Yeah, I know, but like it's all mysteries, right? Like mysteries are mysteries, you know. I suppose. I... Yeah. Okay, you know we're gonna see how this goes. Humans are kind of like pets to me. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> Very small and cute. <laughs> oh god, I have quite a group. Small he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's let's do some. Oh, hold on. Because right now he's gigantic. <laughs> no, he's just in the foreground. He's just in the foreground. <laughs> He's standing really close to the camera. <laughs> He's like, "Oh, is this where I go to get my picture taken for the for the job?" Yeah. Does he have a fur coat? On? No, it's like a it's like one of them like uh like like uh, fur lined like denim jackets. <laughs> you know, it's very fur lined. <laughs> you know, one of them one of them fleece lined. Uh... Yeah, I know it. I know the kind. You have to keep the sun off your face, but it's still warm enough, <laughs> or cold enough, I suppose, to be wearing fur-lined denim? <laughs> is this what's happening? Is this that... is my first mystery. Listen, what I'll... are you wearing? I'll wear, what should he be wearing? I, I, I don't love have it. any sleeves <laughs> at all. <laughs> no, I love it, you do you. disparity going on in these designs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he is also wearing sort of like, like capri. <laughs> <laughs> And like sandals. 
So even he isn't sure. It's fashion, okay, you know. Also... It's he's he's trying to recreate that sort of um, natural elements, you know, like the <laughs> the the heat leaves through the feet, but then like you keep the torso nice and warm. The heat leaves through the feet. I think heat rises. <laughs> no, no, it's not. The feet are <laughs> natural coolants <laughs> for the body. Everyone knows this. Maybe for dwarves. Maybe oh, for I thought dwarves. he was gonna be barefoot. No, he's got sandals. Okay, that's very <laughs> proper. I was gonna say he's clearly not dressed for this like fancy mansion we're going to, but I guess neither is Georg. <laughs> this is Grindon's fanciest outfit. Yeah, maybe. To be fair, I don't think I don't think Jancy told you what you were investigating <laughs> you yet. Just showed up. A deep, I think a deep V. She was like, "I just got a, I got a job for y'all. You gotta come over." Oh, a that's deep so v? deep. Oh, that's so deep. That's incredibly deep. A deep v. Do you have suspenders and too. And suspenders, yeah. I think Grendon might be fired. Perfect. <laughs> okay, well, if I need to make a new character. <laughs> no, Grendon still has a job. Grendon still has a job. Okay. Some buttons on there. Grendon High Forge Pet Detective. <laughs> I guess he's just got his, like, what should he be holding? I don't know. <laughs> what do you want him to be holding, my dude? Yeah, you, you tell me. You tell me. You tell me what he's holding. Did you say he's, like, a druid? Yeah, he is a druid. <laughs> so something... Something natural, <laughs> a mound of dirt. A pet? <laughs> yeah, maybe he's just got like a walking stick. How does he hold the walking stick and all the leashes for the dogs? He's one of those belts. Well, he yeah, he put, well, yeah he, well, he attaches all the leashes to the stick. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. It's his what if the dog stick? Yeah. What if the dogs start going after the stick because they think it's something to play with? Well, no, he whispers to them. <laughs> oh, okay. He tells them. He's the like, dogs hey, get guys, real chill, excited, and he's like. Out. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> <laughs> That's, well, how yeah. That's how you whisper to dogs, yeah. Dogs can also speak parcel tongue, apparently. <laughs> He's just holding a bone. Is his walking stick a bone? His walking stick is bone shaped, but it is. It looks like a big femur. Here, let's make it. Grendon's more, really growing let's up. Let's make it more normal. Grow. <laughs> growing Grendon. That's what we call him. He's just so chill. How can you not? Yeah. And he's got like a leaf. He really wants people to know that he's been out in nature. Yeah, he's like. <laughs> It's like it's that natural life. You yeah, know? I lived in nature for the first eighteen years of my life. Yeah, so you know. I, I don't think you know. No, so you, you know. All right, Grendon. There he goes. Oh, oh. he's a little bigger than that. Okay. He'd be like what, like four feet tall? Yeah. There we go. That seems about right. All right. There's Grendon. You want to write Grendon. his name in there? Name. Okay. Yeah, we got to know the this, this proper spellings. Oh, just like Brendan. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. All right, now up for Karina. I'm definitely coming in the least prepared and the least knowledgeable. So that's okay. We can help you out. And that's fun. That's Have you ever doing. done a D and D? Nope. So this is your first like any <laughs> any type of role playing experience. Yeah, I guess. Um, you're you're good at clothing your characters though. Yeah, yeah that's, I think that's, that's <laughs> preparation. Yeah, never nude. You don't just <laughs> you don't just panic and start drawing fur. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I probably will, but that's okay. I gave this a little thought coming into it. All um, right, because I, knowing the least about D and D races, mm -hmm. and also being told I couldn't be an elephant, <laughs> please just please went with human. Please don't make me draw elephants a lot. You'll get so good at drawing elephants. I don't want to be good at drawing <laughs> elephants is the thing. That's yeah, my thing. That's Nathan's thing. We that's can't have two thing. people good at that. <laughs> Julia gets what about good at drawing turtles? elephants, then I have to get good at drawing <laughs> handsome men. Oh, no. Handsome angular men. Handsome angular. <laughs> but I'm also good at that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the balance is completely thrown. So I am a human rogue. Ooh. Yes. A classic. That's what I call a human rogue. <laughs> a classic. A classic. <laughs> Are you playing a, a male or female character? I was going to do a female character. <gasps> nice. I was going to say, we've almost done a complete flip of Draga, <laughs> where yeah, we close. had uh, just a bunch of dudes and then leading them a woman. But, you know, I like this. Yeah, we don't have to flip anything. We don't have to flip anything. Our That's... characters are going to be who they are. Yeah. You know? You know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I spent my whole life trying to be who I am, you know? Rogues are like sneaky, right? Yeah. yeah. Typically. I mean, there are different types of rogues. Yeah, they're they can like, also be like scoundrelly. Yeah, there yeah. are rogues yeah. that are like sneaky, rogues that are scoundrelly, rogues that are just sort of like 
good at deception and, and trickery. Yeah, there's all kinds of rogues. There's all kinds of rogues. <laughs> As long as you're engaging in some sort of- the other main thing, her name is Rosé. Nice. Rosé. Rosé. I love it. She's a little fancy, but like she got this job mostly because it would look good on her resume. She's trying to like build that up. Sure, as you do. Mm -hmm. But she's kind of, kind of not great (laughs) (laughs) at the whole detective thing. She kind of lied a little about on her cover letter. And now she's here. <laughs> Isn't that great? Never expected to make the cut, but here we are. She's a millennial. I love how she felt the need to like lie on her cover letter and also <laughs> Brendan is here. <laughs> yeah, she was really worried about it, but then when she showed up for her first day, she was like, oh. <laughs> Listen. Being able to understand what animals have to say about it is great for solving mysteries. I assume I've never been asked to solve. <laughs> are there are there going to be animals? I mean, there's no elephants. <laughs> <laughs> Jancy's just standing behind her desk, just so disappointed already, just so much more tired than ever. Also, if anybody has any pets and needs them walked, I do have pretty competitive rates, so <laughs> let me know about that. Do you accept payment in bones? <laughs> um, what kind of bones? Well, any kind, really. The bigger, the the more expensive, typically. <laughs> yeah, let me take a look at your bones. <laughs> <laughs> I know a bone guy who might be able to, I, I could probably. <laughs> of course he knows a bone guy. <laughs> Pets love bones to chew on. You know, I also know a bone guy, weirdly enough, but I think we're talking about different bones, you know? <laughs> I, I know some people in the uh, the crime scene investigation section with some bones. Is that does it? Oh yeah, li- does that help? Is I that mean, is that what you're talking about? I think I'm about to make some. But do you have a pet, or do you, were you just asking if you could pay me in bones? I mean, I I don't have a pet yet. Okay, but, but if you ever do, okay. So once I once he gets a pet, and then I walk the pet and get the bones, <laughs> then I can use that as a conversation starter with your bone people. I think this is great. I think we're making connections. <laughs> Humans like pets, right? I've seen people with small animals. They don't seem suited for battle. Rose so they must just like to have, to have, have them. <laughs> <laughs> Rosé's looking so nervous already. She walked into the room and that's what she saw. In the, in the pose you had. Yeah. And then <laughs> the, really the face. Oh. <laughs> She's the type of person who look like has her shit together on the outside, but on the inside definitely doesn't, and is just making it up. Grendon thinks he has his shit together <laughs> on the outside, but very clearly doesn't. York just has no sort of knowledge of what having it together is in the the human sense. So he's got it together in the orc sense. Oh yeah, that's a that's an A plus orc, and that that gives him some confidence, some unearned confidence in human society. Jancy's just thinking about all of the awards that she's won in her life for being <laughs> such a great detective. She's just looking out over this room as you guys are debating bone cost. We're not debating; we're discussing. You're discussing bone cost. <laughs> she's like, how the bone economy? <laughs> the bone economy. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to talk to my bone guy and get back to you. Karina, mm-hmm. I love this. I'm so excited already. She's got poofy shoulders going on. I see that. She's got a hood. She can sneak. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) Question mark. (laughs) That's what she thinks you do. I don't think you'll have to be doing much sneaking, but I do appreciate the option, I suppose. All I really knew going into this is that I wanted to play a character that didn't really like have a grasp of what was going on. <laughs> so that way it makes more sense <laughs> that I Karina, don't have we a took grasp. Very similar routes in our in our first uh, role playing campaign. <laughs> don't worry, fur, I know exactly cool. what's going on. I will be able to help explain everything. No, no, like like I get it. I just I don't know anything either, but <laughs> I'm basically unkillable. <laughs> That's good. So I'm not too concerned about it. If anyone tries to do killing, at least. I guess this is a good time to give you some information about the case we're investigating. What's a case? Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, well. I've got a case I keep my bones in. Oh, no. <laughs> is that what you mean? <laughs> okay, a case is what we've been hired to investigate. Hmm. 
It's the whole shebang, as you, as you might say. All right. Uh, no what? one says that. <laughs> uh, how, many, <laughs> how many dogs? None. none. I have I have none dogs. None dogs. Uh, who knows if there'll be dogs there? I'm not sure. I haven't been there yet. All I know is that I've gotten a, a call from the police department saying that they need our help and that uh, we should go over right away and that I should bring my most available, <laughs> I suppose. I am most available. <laughs> my dude's seven feet, so you can base it on that. <laughs> okay, sure. My guy has dwarf proportions, so don't base anything on. This is really hard. Anyway, what were you saying, <laughs> Julia? Good. So the case that you've all been handed, um, and this is all you know, this is all that the police officer over the phone very hastily said, that there's been a murder from a prominent family in the community during a very large party in this huge mansion on Crescent Hill. And um, Oh, yeah. That's a that's a neighborhood I've I've often considered. Yeah, I definitely know where in. that is. <laughs> it's gated, right? You can't, you can't it's just, very gated. Yeah, yes. I've tried to oh, walk yeah, the dog yeah. in there, and they don't they don't let you just walk dogs in there. So people have tried to use gates to stop me. <laughs> that's good to know. Do you need to get through the gate? Is that? <laughs> I you know I believe we will be let in, but uh, I will oh. let you know. Interesting. If <laughs> there is an issue. <laughs> Cool. I do not believe they have any dogs there, though it is, I guess, nice that you've already met the client, maybe. Have you met them, or have you just been chased out by some guards? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say chased. I think we had like a nice discussion. We, we came to different conclusions mm-hmm. uh, about whether or not uh, I should be allowed to walk dogs there. But, you know, I think, you know, water under the bridge, no hard feelings, live and let live. Hmm. Um, you Did might want to write them a note or something, though, to let them know that I am cool and allowed in. Great, great. You know, maybe I'll give them a call before we show up. Great. And just say, this is, he's here, but, you know, under my authority. How about that? Would that work? Sure. Okay, great. So, this is all we know of the crime. It's just that there's been a, a murder at a party, and, um... We should probably solve it within a day or within a night. Just oh, get that's this like done really fast. Done and knocked out. Listen, I could have <laughs> solved it. I think I've already solved it. But oh, Uh-oh. y'all are new. Um. <laughs> <laughs> We're the most available. People. You're the most available. I thought maybe this was a good opportunity to train you all. I like go over to her and whisper. <laughs> do, do you want to just tell, do you want to just tell me who you think? It is? <laughs> we, can, we can just sort of get on the same page. I would like to point out that Mr. Grendon is already trying to cheat in this investigation. I'm, you know, I'm just trying to pull the knowledge. You know, I don't like, cheat is such a strong word. <laughs> Same issues in uh, in school, people would, you know, I would just try and collaborate. You know, gathering would, information is good for an investigation. Yeah, I would investigate like during tests, like what the right answers were. Great, we, well, we I'm not giving you anything. <laughs> okay. I'll help you once we get there, but. Cool, 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 cool. We have to get there first. Sure, sure. I've got a quick question. Greed yes. Uh, clarification. Um, Murder, not common at human parties? Very much not so. If it's a, a party that goes well. Uh, no, yeah. typically no murder there. It's it's typically no. a social faux pas. Yeah. Oh, okay. A little bit. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's different. You know, things are different. I'm, yeah. I'm coming to coming to grips. You know, that's fine. Um, sometimes uh, some people like to partake in a, a murder mystery dinner sort of thing. And that it is okay to murder at those. Um, no, they're <laughs> staged. I, th- I'm very confused. It's all fake. We don't do murder out here. That's uh, You can be put in jail for murder. <laughs> that's what we're going to do is that we're going to hopefully be putting someone in jail for murder at the end of this. Jail. That's a, a place with bars <laughs> that you hopefully cannot get out of. Well, I've not yet met a bar I could not get out of. Well, that's scary. Like, are, are you talking about like a pub sort of bar or? A what? <laughs> Never mind. You know, I'll cover this in the car as we go. So we are in a car world. We do have cars. Yeah, I imagine it's like. Uh, there are cars in here? Yeah. I can't drive, just so we know. Okay. <laughs> I don't think any of us can drive. I have a problem. <laughs> I'm willing to try. Uh, <laughs> no, reach the pedals on most cars that you know, are made for humans. Maybe we'll take a taxi. It's fine. I mean, I have, my, I have my permit, but like oh. I never finished. <laughs> oh God. Well, uh, I love this cast of uh, characters. <laughs> oh, good. Go One accent. Does Rose yeah. have a last name, or is she just Rose? 
let's just say it's just rose fair <laughs> enough <laughs> <laughs> She's not oh. comfortable giving her full name out to these people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, now that we have the, the cast of characters, we'll start the investigation in the next episode. Ooh. Ooh. I think it's going to go well. Oh, there's I... no way this could go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> now with this crew. We've got all of the skills we need to solve a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> yep, dog walking. Dog walking. Confused. St strong. <laughs> yeah. And, and millennial. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see you next time and sorry. 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 sorry.